several things that cause a delayed emergence from anesthesia. The first big category is drug effects. A patient can have residual anesthetics on board, like volatiles or propofol. There could be residual neuromuscular blockade. You can assess this with a peripheral nerve stimulator. If a patient has a pseudocholinesterase deficiency and you've used succinylcholine, they can have prolonged paralysis. If there are excess opioids on board, you can trial antagonism with naloxone. Similarly, with benzos, you can try flumazenil. If anticholinergics like scopolamine are used, you can try antagonism with physostigmine. Alcohol and other drugs should be considered, and other sedatives like haloperidol and dexmedetomidine should also be considered. A number of metabolic derangements can also cause delayed emergence. Hypoglycemia, you want to check blood sugars. Hypoxemia or hypercarbia, you want to check pulse ox and tidal carbon dioxide and ABG, and you want to continue mechanical ventilation until those problems are corrected. In hypo or hyperthermia, you want to check temperature. In acidosis, you should get an ABG and correct it. In hyponatremia, for instance, after urologic procedures, you want to check a BMP and correct it. Last category is neurologic disorders. You should always be wary of a new stroke. You can do a full neuro exam, including pupils, cranial nerves, reflexes, and withdrawal to pain, and you can consider imaging. Patient might be in a seizure or a post state, and they might have increased intracranial pressure.